I've been wanting to come here and camp at this place for a while now and I've been waiting for the weather to be nice. This place is packed in the summertime. There's no way you have to reserve almost a year in advance. Um, but in the winter time, every now and then you get lucky. So I was here bright and early this morning and uh, found this little spot and I'm like, that'll do. <laughs> so I can only stay one night, but that's okay. If I could stay two, I, I might if the weather holds up, but uh, if not, then eh, that's okay. I got work to do and uh, I'm actually gonna get some work done while I'm sitting here as well, but uh, that sun's coming up and it's so nice. Anyway, here's the house. So yeah, I've just been sitting there. I got the heater on. I'm working on my computer. I was wearing my cozy little booties there. My jet boil going, so I already got a little bit of coffee left. And I, I wrapped up my spuds. Um, so what I got is I got a sweet potato, again. And uh, there's an onion. These are a couple smaller potatoes, like the uh, kind of yellow ones. I think they're called Yukon Golds. Uh, some carrots, and I got a couple garlic. I'm not gonna eat all of this, but what I'll do is I'll end up cooking it over the fire and I'll save some of this and keep it in my fridge um, and use it for some upcoming meals and stuff like that. I'm a really big breakfast guy. Like I love, I love like the whole bacon and eggs things with toast and stuff, but I know it's, Kind of one of those things you don't want to do too too much but when you got a baked potato like this and uh the next you know let's say you want to make a breakfast you pull this out of your fridge you can break this up and fry it up in a pan with some coconut oil and it's it's money it's really good so i'll probably end up doing those with all three of the potatoes and i'll eat the yam tonight and some garlic and i might have a couple carrots there's four four big carrots in there so I'll throw that on the fire there later. That's my, my hand sanitizer. I just put alcohol, it's a little spray bottle, generic thing, but I just put 70% alcohol in there. Anyway, I already got into some chips. Never had those before. They were, uh, they were pretty good. So, didn't mind those at all. So this other thing about this campsite is it can get really windy in here. I'm really lucky today because the wind's coming from that direction over there and it's kind of sheltered by the trees and it's broken up a little bit out there and it starts to settle in this area, which is really lovely. And it's almost calm right over there. So super cool. I'm gonna go for a walk later and I'll I'll go explore this area. Okay, so kind of a funny thing. When I got here this morning, it was um, it was about 9.30. And uh, this one had like the available sticker on it. And uh, so I went back to the office. The, the spot beside me, which is number 14, I'm in, staying in number 17 right now. That one looked a little bit better. I, I just kind of like the almost the feng, feng shui of that place a little bit better <laughs> uh and there was someone just pulling out of there at 9 30 and i went back to the office and I, I asked him i said hey is uh number you know how's this place work and uh so he kind of gave me the spiel and then i said um oh so, so i said basically yeah i pulled up into a spot that's got a green available tag on it he says yeah you're good to go and i said there's one spot beside me that has got like a little piece of paper on it that says people are leaving today and I said, any chance I can go into that one? He says, well, we've already done our round, so if it doesn't have a green tag on it behind that piece of paper, then that spot's already reserved for tonight. Uh, so number 14 is not available. And I said, oh, yeah, it was number 14 that I was after. And he's like, yeah, that's, that's, that's already booked, but uh, 17 is good to go. Anyway, so I'm back here at 17 and um, there's a few spots further down and I just didn't want to go that way because the cell service isn't as good. And I also want to sit here and do a little bit of work on my on my computer and uh, be able to upload and download data and stuff like that. Anyway, 
so I just I've been parking here and he says he's, he, he'll be by he's he's already been by once he's coming by again sometime after two or three and then he'll collect my money but um, a subscriber of mine just popped by <laughs> and uh, I met him before and we had a short sweet chat up in Squamish and um, anyway he popped by and he he's, he said that uh, it was good to see me and all that sort of stuff but Apparently, he said he reserved this site, number 17, on the Canada website for reserving camping sites. And, um, and so he's a bit surprised to see me sitting in it. And then uh, he went back to the office and the guys at the office said, yeah, we don't have any records of, you know, you're making a reservation for site number 17. Um, so I don't know, basically he shared that with me and I said, well, if you want to take this spot, it's fine. Like, I didn't mind. And, um, and he said, no, no, we're gonna, we're gonna go further down and stay at, stay at a different one. And basically said, are you sure? And he's like, yeah, sure. I'm like, okay. I didn't mind moving so much. I mean, if you, you know, in a case like that, I would, I probably would have just packed up and headed back to town or something like that for the day and just stayed at one of my usual spots and maybe try this again another time. But uh, yeah, he was, he just said, no, we're gonna, we're gonna go down, down the way and stay at another spot. So, super cool. Um, so now I'm just trying to soak this in <laughs> fully. Hopefully I don't have any more weird, you know, people come by saying, hey, we reserved number 17. What are you doing in it? <laughs> Not that that's my fault, but that would be Parks Canada's fault, I think, so. Anyway, I just took the little sign that said available and I just put it on the ground with a little stone on it. So when the guys come by, they can just grab that and then people driving by, they're gonna see this and maybe they'll kind of leave me alone. Okay, so this is something I do is uh, my mail when I get it and I kind of go through it basically I like, take pictures and scan just about everything I get in the mail and um, not everything like you know there's some stuff where it just goes straight to the you know recycling and stuff but um, you know stuff that's got your like address and information on and all that stuff I hang on to it all and I usually shred it, or used to shred it, but because I moved into a van, I don't exactly want to keep a paper shredder in my van, if you know what I mean. So I just hang on to everything, and then uh, when I come out and I do some van camping, then uh, I'll just burn all that stuff. I'll use it as my fire starter. So anyway, I got a bunch of mail and stuff. I'm going to kind of set up the fire with that. All right, nothing fancy. I'm just showing you guys because, you know, well, you probably haven't seen me make a fire before, but this is kind of like how I like to do it is I just, I use two big logs on the bottom. And then uh, in this case, because it's a little damp, I put some kindling along the bottom just to keep that paper off of the bottom. And then I just crisscross, basically build like, kind of like a little fort. And there's 
some kindling that's kind of going across here and there and there. Anyway, um, that's kind of the system I use. I don't like the teepee. I like this because I find it just stays together a little bit longer and gets things going. I find the teepees really just kind of fall in on themselves too easily. So I noticed this campground's got a hookup back here. Not that I need it, but there's a couple breakers. We got a 30 amp outlet and then a 15 amp outlet. So yeah. It's kind of cool, but uh, with the sun out, I wonder if I'm pulling any solar. It'll be a little bit. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay. Uh, so, it's kind of hard to say with this. It's not really telling me whether I got solar going in it. So I got, I'm pulling 50 watts right now. I'm running my heater, my fan, which is almost always on. And my fridge compressor might be running right now. I also have my inverter on, which is, that's what it is. It's my computer. There we go, eight watts. So I'm bringing in, <laughs> I got 200 watts of solar on the roof and I'm pulling in eight watts. Uh, it's kind of behind the trees a little bit, but it's low guys, this is Canada. Well, they're taking that octopus away now. Park rangers at work. Oh, come on. It's too easy not to climb this thing. Uh, I don't know what to say, guys. I'm just having a good time out here taking a walk. And uh, honestly, I'm just kind of in a quiet place inside. And uh, yeah. In a way, I feel like keeping that to myself, if you know what I mean. So I'm just going to film some cool stuff as I go along.
It's okay, buddy. getting cold out it was really um, really cool to check this place out for the day it went by like way too fast honestly um, I wish I could spend another day I could easily spend like a week down here with weather like this it's amazing um, and I, I had all these intentions to get some admin work out of the way I'm doing a bunch of back-end stuff for the channel um, it's grown pretty quick and I'm trying to keep up with that pace some of you guys are asking about PayPal and patreon and different ways that you can support and I haven't like you know jumped on that really quickly I'm taking my time with it because I I'm trying to set it up I, I just basically don't want to set it up and have it be a little messy off the get-go so I'm trying to um, 
get all that stuff sort of ironed out and prepared and whatnot. And that's just my style, it's just what I do. So I came down here with the intentions to do some of that and I got started on it and then it just got so beautiful that I <laughs> I was like, man, I, I gotta go out and enjoy some of this scenery instead of sitting in my van working on this stuff. So anyway, the weather's gonna change. It's gonna turn to rain and stuff like that. I think tomorrow I can see some clouds off in the distance. So I'll spend the next couple days doing that sort of stuff and try and get a video out too. So I gotta edit. I don't have anything on the go right now. So I'll probably edit one first thing in the morning. Um, yeah. This place is cool. This is really cool. I'm so glad I finally stopped here. This is one of these campsites that I've been driving by for years. And um, I always thought I'd love to go camping there at least once. And uh, every time I've come down to check it out, it's jam packed. And then I learned this year that the best time to come is, you know, in the off season. Um, it's still pretty busy, but is there's a better chance to get in? And now that I'm sharing that, I'm like, do I share that or do I not share that? I haven't told you what the place is, so if you can figure it out, you can figure it out. But it's a nice little spot. It's really great. Wow, I'll definitely be doing this again. So glad I stayed. <clears throat> Dinner's cooking, it's coming along. This view is amazing. <laughs> Love it. And uh, I just put the heater on in the van, so this thing is getting nice and toasty. Oh, yeah. You can feel it coming out of there. It's real good. Um, <clears throat> and by the way, I'm actually doing a little bit of van work right now. You can't see it because it's not there, but I'm facing this stuff and that stuff there. I I'll show you a little secret. Not a secret, but a little preview. Oh, there we go. That's a new door face. I'll have to move my controller out of there. That's where it's lived before, but it's probably gonna go up here. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use this to retrieve my dinner. I think it's ready. So, let's grab. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's hot. Okay. That's a lot of food. Okay, let's start with the, uh, the yam. Oh yeah. Ooh. Mm. Oh, that's, that should be perfect. Oh yeah. Feels pretty good. Okay, so here we go. I got yam, carrots, that bunch of stuff right back in there. That's all roasted garlic and then an onion on top. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm having about half the yam for now. I'm gonna eat the carrots because there's just a couple of them. And then I'm saving the potatoes for later on. Um, so it's kind of nice just to cook those up. That's a good carrot. So I got my... Uh, my roasted onion. Oh 
Oh, that's really good. <laughs> Carrot. Oh, that's good too. Yam. Pretty amazing. And the roasted garlic. Oh, that's creamy. Hmm. It's really nice. The sugars have really come out in all of this really nicely. Um, I think actually my favorite thing in here is the onion and the carrot. Carrot's really good. They're a local carrot, that's probably why. Um, can't really say where the yam came from because I bought that a while ago. It's been sitting in the bottom of my van for a while. <laughs> but these are local carrots, they're really good. Mm. I really wish this camera would pick up all those stars up there. That is so cool. You get a few twinkling in there, but that's about it, guys. It's a starry night. One day, I'm gonna get a camera that takes really good pictures, videos of starry nights. Take a video of a tent though. <laughs> it's like the shadow puppet show over there. Mmm. <laughs> the sexy time. <laughs> Ooh, it's cold. Okay, I'm, I'm finished fooling around outside. I just had to go pee and go empty my pee bottle. I don't think I talked about that on this channel <laughs> yet. The pee bottle. <laughs> well, in case you're, you know, unaware of that kind of thing, I pee in a bottle in my van. <laughs> and, uh, and if van life isn't so familiar to you that's fairly common in van life um, some people have toilets like compostable toilets and all that kind of stuff I live in a minivan I don't have room for that and I don't want to make room for that so I'd be in a bottle okay awkward awkwardness aside <laughs> awkward subject <laughs> All good. <sighs> I'm ready for bed. It was a good night. I had a good, uh, a good Zoom call. There we go. Hey guys, look, I'm gonna lock my doors, okay? <laughs> you hear that? They're locked. And yep, I can hit the panic button. <laughs> I don't even remember that video, like where my key was and all that kind of thing. I'm sure I had it somewhere, not up in the drivers. It wasn't up there, but. Yeah, I remember after that happened, after the whole break in, I was like, yeah, I'll probably hit the panic button and I'll make sure my doors are locked and all that kind of business. There's been two times where I forgot 
to lock the doors since then. And one time, my passenger side window was rolled all the way down. And the next morning, I lost my wallet. It wasn't because I left it on the front seat. It wasn't because someone stole it. It's because I was wearing my pajamas and I had it like in this pocket right here. So it was like, it's kind of like this exact same wallet actually. So it was like in here and I was driving. And then I got out of the van because there was something I needed to check. And as I got out, this thing went out onto the street and no clue. Anyway, um, I went through the whole ordeal of like getting new ID and canceling cards and all that sort of stuff. And it turns out that not five minutes later, some guy picked it up and messaged me on Facebook and said, I got your wallet. And I didn't get the message because uh, I don't go on Facebook very much, like almost never. So I have like notifications turned off and all that sort of thing. And I'm just like, eh. Anyway, it was really nice of him to, uh, to do that. Uh, and then I had to go and get everything brand new again anyway. Okay, that's I'm, more than you need to know. I'm going to bed, guys. Have a good night. Um, <laughs> yeah, sleep well. Bye.